at the Al Noor and Linwood Mosques in Christchurch, New Zealand. Families gathered to pray. It's Friday, the Holy Day of Islam. There were many refugees among them, people who had fled Syria and other war-torn areas for safety. Refugees? Immigrants? They were regular people, just trying to find a safe place to live, to raise their children, to earn a decent living. Regular people, just like most of us, not meaning any harm to anyone, praying in their own way to their own God. A vicious, spiteful man killed 49 of them and wounded dozens of others. Now we all want to know why he did it. How could this happen? How could he live stream the attack on Facebook? What does he claim for the reasons in his manifesto which he left on 8chan? Why did he say all the things that he did before and during the attack? Normally, I would say right now that it's time for some roasted opinions. As you've noticed though, there are no video effects, no music, no attempts to make this video visually compelling. These are just my thoughts and I don't care if I get any engagement from them at all. Watch or don't as you will. I will not name the suspect, although I will say that three individuals remain in custody at this time, and one has been charged. If the three had anything to do with this heinous attack, then screw them. New Zealand doesn't have a death penalty. But I have to admit that instances like this are perfect examples of exactly when I believe that the death penalty should be used. Anyone who would murder whole families in a place of worship like this, men, women, the elderly, children, indiscriminately, is irredeemable to society, and nothing is served by incarcerating them for the rest of their life. There is no chance of rehabilitation. It's said that the killer made references to PewDiePie and Candace Owens. Felix Shelberg immediately disavowed the attacker, absolutely sickened that his name was even spoken. Candace Owens tried to laugh it off. Both are being castigated for the shooting in social media, and I think that in Felix's case, this is unwarranted. John Hinckley Jr. shot President Reagan because he wanted to impress Jodie Foster. That didn't make his actions her fault in any way, shape, or form. I don't believe that Felix or Candace had anything to do with it. But Candace Owens never should have tried to laugh it off, and I have little sympathy for her and the backlash she's dealing with on Twitter. The Shooter's Manifesto states a great many things, including a bunch of white supremacist bile. He claimed that he wanted to provoke the media into full frenzy. I don't think that he should get coverage, though, because that's exactly what he wanted. He wanted to be famous. He wanted to have his name forever attached to the internet devouring itself over the things in his manifesto. We need to give the families of the victims time to mourn the dead and care for the wounded. We need to give the New Zealand courts time to exact justice, although nothing that the courts can do will in any way mitigate losses. Instead, I think we need to talk about free speech. I believe that no one should be censored by others. I believe that sunlight is the best disinfectant for reprehensible ideas, and that those who hold those ideas should be allowed to speak out so that we can challenge them and, if necessary, exclude them from our company. But I also believe that each and every single one of us has an absolute responsibility to censor ourselves. Words are like a bag of feathers cast into the wind. No one can ever gather them all up again. They are indiscriminate weapons exposing evil and cutting down the wicked, but words can also tear down the innocent when they are lies. Facebook deleted the killer's account and has removed any posting of the video he streamed. They are also removing any words supporting this heinous act. Other social media companies are taking steps to remove messages of support for him. Not fast enough, though, to avoid the predictable blame game from the media. The Washington Post has at least one article about how social media is fostering attacks of this nature. There are other articles like it from other media outlets. Ladies and gentlemen, I deplore this act and the hatred which spawned it. My heart is broken for the victims. If you pray, say a prayer for the victims and their families. If you don't, keep them in your thoughts. Look for charities which will offer them aid if you wish to support them. 
Here are some links to some articles which I found which list charities that are raising money to assist them. The links will be copied in the description. Please be careful and check out the organizations before you donate. Make sure that you are giving to reputable charities.